to the magical mystery tour of a lake water sample. Um, <laughs> there's so much in this sample that uh, I'm going to have to race around to show you everything in 10 minutes flat. Uh, right here smack in the center of this cool little double bell shaped green looking thing is a diatom and it's just one of many on the slide and they're pretty much I think most of them are alive. This here glass rod looking very long thing is another diatom type of diatom and this guy cruising along here very slowly is uh, another yet. And let's see if I can get the contrast up a little bit on him. Come on back here, buddy. Or one of protozoan blurring across the slide there at a different level and look good. There are many, many, many types of diatoms. And oh, here, this is interesting too. You see faintly this thread-like character? I thought at first this was some kind of fiber on the slide being bumped around by diatoms, but it's not. It's a living organism of some variety. It's a long, very long thread-like thing. I don't really know what to make of. Never seen one of those before. And this here is another type of diatom. This long rod-shaped critter. And you can see it actually has some structural details like ribbing along it. Is that neat? Okay, and cruising along here, there's another one of those uh, oblong diatoms. There is so much stuff in here, and you could just you could spend all eternity looking at it, I think, and still come up with new stuff. But if we're gonna do a proper tour, then I gotta back out on the power, because I don't know if you noticed, but there's a lot of stuff zinging around the slide that is too big to capture at that magnification properly. So, dropping down a step and coming back into focus. Now you can see the debris field a bit better. There's our first item I looked at. There's the long rod shaped one there. Small ones moving around it. There's yet another type, another couple of types there. A green rod shaped one in this <laughs> pretty cool looking Tootsie Roll guy here in the center. So many. Now like I said, the most of them are alive and there's another one of those thread like things there just a bit off center. More types of diatoms, more and more and more. Want to see this big green one a little closer? Why not, huh? I have to hurry, but I think I can get this all in. There's the requisite doo doo doo. No video is complete without that. There we are. There's Tootsie Roll Diatom. And, and where'd the other one go? They're so neat. They build their uh, little shells out of silica glass, basically, if my information is correct. Oh, here we are. There's another neat one. You can see some internals there. Another smaller one. Another one like it. Big, long, rod-shaped fella. And more, and more, and more. There's some nice detail on that long one there. And some of the internal structure can be seen. <laughs> They're fascinating. Just all, all in themselves. There's a nice big one. Look at that. Getting a lot of what looks like a ripple effect off the light there. Let's see if I can mollify some of that for you. A better internal view. That's nice. That's pretty nice.
Yeah. That's got it going on. Let's back out on the mag again. Knock the iris open a bit. Because I would like to show you some of the protozoans. If I can find a protozoan that's standing still, I can show you the uh, ciliated structures. Time 5.42. I am running out of time. Already. It goes quick. Oh, it goes so quick. Too quick. There's a lot of protozoans on this slide as well. And, uh, several different types. There's one particularly large one, I think, is a Euglena. Hard to say. But he's up there. Oh, here we go. This is a protozoan, ciliated protozoan. And we can get in close on him real quick, if I can get away with it. First, back the, uh, out there. It's hard to see, but he has hair-like structures all around his body. And these are what he uses to swim, number one. And number two, to, uh, eat. And where is my focus? Damn it. This is not what I had in mind at all. Oh, how did I end up so out of focus? Oh no, but I did it right, didn't I? Mm. Come on, damn it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was way out. Let's see if I can find him again. I don't remember where he was. Oops. Good job, Rick. There he is. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That was a beautiful finale. <laughs> oh, nice. Now you can see. Almost looks like the field lines of a magnet. <laughs> They're neat. They're so cool. And I got in close enough where you can see his organelles. You see the vac vacuoles contracting and expanding, taking in fluid and spitting it back out. They're quite fascinating creatures. Very neat. I'm not sure what exactly that structure is that uh, appears to be pumping there. But, uh, yeah, I got in on the cilia really great. That's excellent. Let's see if the iris does anything for that. You know, a little better contrast there. And drop that out. A little pukey looking, maybe. But it shows you some of the detail a little better on him. Quite neat. A lot of this I'm seeing for the first time, too. I haven't, I haven't really had an opportunity to study this kind of thing. At any length, well, I've had opportunity, I just haven't used it. <laughs> there you go. Classic protozoan. Similar to Paramecium, but he's a considerably smaller fellow. Anyway, we're out of time here, so I uh, hope you enjoyed that little tour there. And uh, who knows, if I find something interesting, I'll put that up too. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you all are having a good day. Bye for now.